BGP or Border Gateway Protocol has been added to the CCNA. It's important that you have an understanding of how to configure BGP as well as how to troubleshoot to BGP. In a previous video, I showed you the configuration of this topology. This is a troubleshooting video, and in this scenario, we've been told that router one on the left is not able to ping the loopback of router four. In other words, router one is not able to ping 4.4.4.4. And that's true, as we can see here. So let's do a trace and see what happens. At the moment, it looks like the trace is not going anywhere. We're not seeing it hit router two. So let's confirm that we have the route in the routing table. So show IP BGP. Okay, so quadruple four is not shown in the BGP routing table, which means it won't appear in the IP routing table, which means you won't be able to ping that network. Show IP BGP shows us that we are receiving routes from a neighbor, 17.1.1.2. So in other words, router two is advertising routes to us. We are, as an example, learning about network 15. So can we ping 15.1.1.2? Yes, we can. So in other words, we have IP connectivity, and we can just prove that by doing a trace through the network to the gigabit 00 interface on router four, but we can't get to the loopback of router four. So that probably means that there's an issue on router four. So show IP BGP. Notice the network 4.4.4.4 does not appear in the BGP routing table. Show IP interface brief. That network is configured on the loopback interface. Is it advertised in BGP? So show run pipe section BGP. We do see a network command advertising that loopback into BGP. So what do you think is the problem? Have you got any ideas at the moment what the problem could be? So to help you with that, let's have a look at the configuration of the loopback interface. Hopefully at this point, you should see where the problem is. What's been done wrong in this configuration? Okay, it's really important in BGP that you configure the network command correctly. The network command doesn't do what it does in IGP, such as OSPF or EIGRP. It doesn't enable the routing protocol on that interface and then advertise that network through the routing protocol. What it does is it looks for a route that matches the network command in the IP routing table and then advertises that into BGP. So if we type show IP route, pipe include four, we do have a route in the IP routing table but notice the problem. This is a slash 32 network based on that configuration. BGP is looking for a slash 24 network. It will only advertise the network if there's an exact match on the mask. So once again, show IP BGP shows us that the route is not advertised in BGP. This is what our BGP configuration looks like at the moment. So let's configure that correctly. So no, and I'll just copy and paste this, network four. And then we need to do that again. 4.4.4.4, mask, 255, 255, 255, 255. So show, run, pipe, section, BGP. That's what our configuration looks like now. Show IP BGP. Notice BGP found the network in the IP routing table. Show IP route, pipe include four. And I'll just use a regular expression. This just means that it's looking for a dot. So four dot four. We can see that network is directly connected on the loopback. It's a slash 32. And we can see that by looking for that option. So slash 32 network, this command matches this exact entry, slash 32 mask, so it's advertised in BGP. 
So now, is router one learning about that network through BGP? Yes, it is. So hopefully, it should be able to ping quadruple four, and it can. So that was an example of how to troubleshoot BGP. The lesson to learn here is that the network command is a standard mask. It's not an inverse mask, and it has to match networks exactly. So this network, as an example, matches this entry here, and hence the local router will advertise that network through BGP, and that will be learnt by remote routers. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it, and please also subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please ask them below, and I wanna wish you all the very best.